Start by visually inspecting the joints between the supply plenum and the takeoff collar, and the takeoff collar and flex duct. When the insulation layer is on the outside of the duct system, you will need to move that out of the way so that you can confirm that the inner liner or surface is air sealed. To get the outer liner or insulation layer of the duct system out of the way, you will want to carefully cut through any tape or mastic that may be in the way by peeling back the outer layer and seeing the connection at the inner layer. So now that the cuts have been made, peel back the insulation out of the way. If a nylon tie band is found to be around the outer layer, making it hard to peel back the insulation, cut this tie band and remove. You will want to check the connection all the way around this takeoff collar. Then you are going to check the joint all the way around the takeoff collar to flex connection. If you need to, you can use a flashlight and a mirror to inspect hard to reach places. If you find joints or connections that have not been sealed, you can leave those spots exposed for easy access for repair and let the HVAC contractor put the insulation layer back together. If you confirm that all the connections between the supply plenum, takeoff collar, and flex duct have been sealed with bucket mastic, you can then put the insulation layer back together like you found it. This is where the additional material comes in. You'll need to peel all the insulation layer back in place and install a nylon tie band back around the outer insulation layer. Finally, you are going to want to either tape or mastic the edges of the outer layer back to the supply plenum. I'm going to stay with the same flex duct and follow it to its next connection. This next joint could be a splice, a mixing box, or the supply boot. When you find this next connection or joint, you are again going to move the outer liner or insulation layer out of the way to be able to see the connection at the inner layer. Cut any tape, mastic, or nylon tie strap around the outer liner to be able to peel back and look underneath. Check the connections on both sides all the way around the rigid metal splice. If you find joints or connections that have not been sealed, you can leave those spots exposed for easy access for repair and let the HVAC contractor put the insulation layer back together after duct sealing has been completed. If you confirm that all the connections between the flex duct and splice have been sealed with bucket mastic, then you can put the insulation layer back together as you found it with either tape or mastic. Next, I will follow the supply flex duct all the way out to the supply boot. The last connection I'm going to check is the one between the flex duct and the supply boot collar. Move the outer liner or insulation layer out of the way to be able to see the inner layer connection. Cut any tape, mastic, or nylon tie strap around the outer liner to be able to peel back and look underneath. Check the connection all the way around. If you find joints or connections that have not been sealed, you can leave those spots exposed for easy access for repair and let the HVAC contractor put the insulation layer back together after duct sealing has been completed. Once you confirm that all the connections between the flex duct and supply boot have been sealed with bucket mastic, you can then put the insulation layer back together as you found it 